Hello friends, in this video we will see drop down list helper in MVC3 Razor. Now, HTML dot drop down list renders a drop down control and it renders a select tag with options. Now, we will see how to render a drop down list in MVC3 Razor syntax. Now, this is a simple MVC3 Razor view that is index.cshtml which looks like this. Now, to render the drop down list we can use drop down list helper the first parameter it accepts is the name so for now i am passing drop down now this is not enough to render a drop down list if i refresh the view it will give me an error that there is no list passed to this helper it accepts the enumerable select list item that is not passed so let's move to the second overload that is the option label for now i'm passing my drop down and again i am refreshing my view it again will give me an error that the selected list is not supplied which is expected for the drop down helper so now one thing is clear that the drop down list helper requires a list to be passed in order to render a drop down so now we have created a simple list that is of selected list item and we are going to pass this list to the helper and we'll refresh the view now you can see the drop down is rendered with two values that is the ferrari and the lamborghini which is added to the list here so now we have seen the first and the second overload the third overload we have passed the list the fourth overload is accepting the third parameter that is the html attributes parameter so in this case you can set style attributes or any class attribute or any helper level attribute so now we are setting its color to orange I'm refreshing the view. Now you can see the drop down values are in orange color. And if, if you check the HTML, you can see a select tag is rendered with ID and name attribute set with the first parameter. And the HTML attribute style is set for this. And the list values are rendered as option tag. So now let's move to the fifth overload. The fifth overload accepts the third parameter which is the option label. So now as we have passed the list, so now we can play with the option label as well. Now option label I am passing Honda now this option label will be the selected item in the list and it will add one more item in the list as well so this is how the option label works so now let's move to the next overload that is the sixth overload the sixth overload accepts this list and is similar to the fourth overload just that it accepts the i dictionary object of the html attributes instead of html attribute object in i dictionary html attributes you can pass multiple attributes and can set multiple attributes for the control seventh overload accepts the combination of option label and html attributes so now i am again setting style I refresh you can see the font size has increased and let's move to the last overload the last overload is similar to the seventh one just that it accepts the dictionary object so this is how you can render a drop down list control using html or drop down list helper and the main and the mandatory thing is to pass is the list without list it will not render thank you friends